These are the two new audio products that nothing's gonna launch today in India. So let's see how they are. Hi there guys, I'm Nikhil from Greedy Tech and in this video I'll be unboxing and reviewing the CMF Buds and CMF Neckband Pro by Nothing. Now this is the box packaging that I got for the two products. So let's unbox it. As you can see, this is a pretty sleek box by CMF. It's got the branding on the top itself. And at the bottom, it says wonderful by design. Inside the box, we got three boxes. One is for the buds. Next, we have the neckband pro and a lanyard. That's it. First, we'll look at the unboxing, starting off with CMF neckband pro. On the front, we have a quick look at how the device looks like. And unlike your traditional neck bands, this one actually comes with a pretty huge dial. So let's see how it turns out. On the back side, we have some of the highlights like 50 dB active noise cancellation. It's got 5 HD mics and the dial is called Smart Dial. And it's got 13.6 millimeter drivers. Now let's unbox it. First, we have the neck band Pro. In the middle, it feels like it was put in a hard shape or maybe it was a coincidence. On the back side, there's a small flap. Inside, we got documentation and extra ear tips. Now the neckband comes with covers. Let me just remove that. Now this is how the neckband pro looks like. Now let's unbox this one. This is the CMF Buds and CMF has already launched the Buds Pro just if you're interested. So here's a closer look at the box. We got a quick preview of how the earbuds are gonna look like. Once again, a pretty brand new design. On the back side, we have some specifications. On the side, we got some key features like it supports 42 dB active noise cancellation. It's got 12.4 mm drivers and pretty big batteries. And this one actually comes with four HD mics. Now let's unbox it. Now here we go. First, we have the case. Then there are four extra ear tips nicely placed here. The design inside the ear tips is also nice. It will help you with cleaning up the earbuds. On the back side of the container, we got some documentation. Now back to the case. Let me just remove the cover. Now this is how the CMF Buds case looks like. I'll come back to it in a minute. Now let's unbox the third box. Like it, this is the lanyard. It's a very small box. It's got branding, that's it. I'll just unbox it. Now here's the lanyard. It's something that you can attach to the Buds case and you can carry it easily. Just so you know, this is how you can attach the lanyard to the Buds case and it's pretty simple. Just turn the grey knob on the case to fit it in. By the way, this lanyard is a very nice addition, at least for us. I guess you have to buy it separately. By the way, the material and quality of this lanyard is pretty good, feels quite premium. And just in case if you missed it, it also matches with the case color. Now back to the neckband pro. It's available in three colors, light grey, dark grey and orange. I personally prefer the dark grey version, but if you want something flashy, Orange is the one to go. Anyway, first let's have a physical overview. Now let's have a closer look. On the right side, there's a three-in-one dial or CMF calls it the smart dial. You can use it to control volume and it has other functions as well. Next, it has a branding. It says CMF by nothing. On the back side, we have the R engraving. That's for the right side. A dedicated button. That's the power button. And there's also a small cutout. That's probably for the microphone. On the left side, it's plain with just the CMF logo and there's an L engraving on the back side. Now this is the neckband part. It is made of flexible rubber material, just like most of the neckbands. Quality is pretty good. Now these are the earphones. On the top, there's a small cutout on each earphone, as well as a cutout on the back. These are once again, probably microphones. And finally, towards the front, we have the ear tips. And at the back, we have magnets to connect them. Now these are the specifications. It weighs about 29.6 grams. It comes with 13.6 millimeter drivers. It supports AAC and SBC codecs. It also has ultra bass technology 2.0 and spatial audio. By the way, audio tuning for this neckband pro has been done by nothing itself. Now it also has active noise cancellation up to 50 dB. You got a transparency mode and the environment adaption mode as well. In the battery department, it comes with a 220 milliampere battery. With active noise cancellation off, you can get 37 hours of backup and with active noise cancellation on, you can get 23 hours of playback. And these are other specs related to the battery. In the connectivity department, it comes with Bluetooth version 5.3. It has dual device connection where you can connect the same neckband pro to a phone and probably to a tablet or a Windows PC. Like you can use this neckband with two devices at the same time. Now to pair this neckband, you just need to separate the earphones and the headset will enter the pairing mode. Just in case if it doesn't, you can also long press the power button to enter the pairing mode. And you can also put them together to turn it off. By the way, if it's your first time, just separating them will enter into a pairing mode. And if you're already connected to a device, separating them will directly connect to your device. This neckband pro also supports Google fast pairing. So once you turn on your phone, go to the Bluetooth settings, you might even see a direct prompt. So just click on setup or do the normal pairing process. And that's it, you're done. Now let's look at the controls. First, we have the function button. That's the button on the inside. So you can long press this button for three seconds to enter the pairing mode. And you can also double press the function button to return to the last connected device. Now, as for the smart dial, you can long press the smart dial for one second 
to switch between active noise cancellation and transparency mode. Now that's long press. Now if you do a single click, you can play or pause music and answer or end the calls. You can double press the smart dial to play the next song or reject an incoming call. You can triple press the smart dial to play the previous song. Finally, you can rotate the smart dial clockwise to increase the volume and anti-clockwise to decrease the volume. Now coming to the review part, the design and overall build of the neckband pro is pretty good. It's pretty solid, especially the color is too much flashy. And unlike other neckbands with multiple buttons, this one comes with just a single smart dial. This neckband definitely has a very unique design and that's mostly contributed by the smart dial. By the way, CMF has done a really good job with this dial. Like every time you turn it, you also get a nice tactile feel to it that adds to the experience. And every time you click it, like whether it's a single click or a long press, turning on or switching between the transparency mode and the active noise cancellation, you also get a nice alert. Like you get a different tune when you activate the active noise cancellation and you get a different tune like hollowing out when you switch to the transparency mode. So overall, CMF or nothing has done a great job with all these minute details which improves the overall experience. You know, Apple devices are not just about performance or raw specs or, you know, how it looks. Apple takes care of all the small details which improves the overall experience. So nothing seems to be doing the same and it definitely adds to the overall experience. Now for the actual performance of the neckband, I must say I was really impressed. Audio quality is pretty good, it is rich in details and the sound experience is also really good. In fact, bass is really, really good. Like most of the earbuds and neckbands in this price segment say they have bass, but it's not at this level. CMF has actually done a pretty good job with bass experience. From all the headsets I've tried in this price range, this one by far has the best experience. Bass is even better with active noise cancellation on, but it's great either way. Now you can also connect this neckband to the Nothing X app by Nothing to get some extra features. And the first one to check out is the spatial audio feature. You can just turn on this feature and experience spatial audio right on this neckband. And by the way, spatial audio experience is also pretty good. Besides that, we have an equalizer. You can also customize the controls. We have settings for noise cancellation. You can change the noise cancellation levels all the way from adaptive low to high. And finally, you can also tweak the ultra bass settings right from the app. And if this device gets any firmware update, once again, you need to connect to the app. Now back to the CMF buds, let's have a physical overview. So this is a closer look at the case. It's got a squarish design. It is completely plain with a minimal design. On the top, there's CMF branding and a big great dial on the corner. On the side, there's a USB type C port and a reset button, which is not that easy to see. Rest of the case is pretty plain. Once you open it, there are the buds. It has branding on the case and inside the lid as well. There are some more information and a sticker. The butt's placement is pretty unique. The stem part stays on the top and the rest goes inside the case. Once we take them out, they are really light. Now here's a closer look at the buds. On the back, both have the CMF logo and towards the touch control area, one bud has opaque circle while the other has a hollow circle, just like their logo, which is a nice touch. On the front, there's charging pins, ear tip and two small holes. That's probably for the mics. On the top, there's a small cutout. On the side, there's another small cutout on either side of the stem towards the bottom. Now these are the complete specifications. Each earbud weighs about 4.57 grams. Charging case itself weighs about 44 grams. In total, earbuds and the case weighs about 53 grams. Now these earbuds come with 12.4 millimeter drivers. They are made of biofiber custom TPU. It supports AAC and SBC audio codec. It also has active noise cancellation up to 42 dB. As for battery, each earbud comes with 45 mAh battery and the case itself has 460 mAh battery. As for battery life, you can easily get about 20 hours of playback time with all the features turned on. By the way, even the buds have Bluetooth version 5.3 and have dual connectivity. So you can connect to two devices at the same time. Now the pairing process is pretty simple. For the first time, you just need to open the case and both earbuds enter the pairing mode. Just in case if it doesn't, you can also press and hold this reset button for three seconds to enter the pairing mode. By the way, when it enters pairing mode, the LED light on the front will start blinking. So that's a nice indication. Now these earbuds also support Google fast pairing. So once you're near a device, you will see a prompt. You just click on setup and it will start the pairing process. Or you can do it the normal way. Now coming to controls, each earbud has a touch control area at the top over here. You can just do a double tap to skip forward or answer the call or end the call. 
you can triple tap to skip back or reject a call you can tap and hold to switch between active noise cancellation and transparency mode and if you want more controls or change the settings you can do it from the nothing x app now coming to the review part i'll start off with the case the entire build quality and the design is pretty new and it's pretty solid i would say case is pretty satisfying to open and close it is a nice clicky feel to it just like an airpods case so that's pretty good but the lid part feels like extra use of space maybe it was needed for balance maybe it was for aesthetics or maybe they couldn't do it at this price but still it feels a bit too thick and too wasted space i guess it is subjective you might like it or not finally the colors this is the bright orange color it might look flashy to some if you don't like this color you can also choose between light gray or dark gray i would suggest you dark gray now coming to the buds the design is pretty old i would say there isn't anything completely new but the positioning or the overall design of this case itself gave it its own advantages well first the charging pins are out instead of having a hole or somewhere you put in so cleaning them is pretty easy that's one thing i look out for in earbuds so i like this particular design and besides that these earbuds are pretty lightweight once you put them on you won't even feel as if they are in your ear so that's a good feature and they obviously have magnets so they are pretty easy to take them out and put them in like you don't have to fumble you just need to place them roughly and magnets will snap them in place so that's another good thing and as for the earbuds they are pretty light in here they have a snug fit and after a while you'll forget they are in your ear they are pretty comfortable even after long hours of usage even the audio quality is pretty good on these earbuds like it has rich details and good sound experience bass on these buds is also pretty nice but it is not as good as on the neck band so if you really want good bass then i would recommend you to go with the neck band pro but these earbuds does have bass but not too strong but definitely compared to other true wireless earbuds in this price segment these earbuds have a very well balanced bass experience now you can also connect these earbuds to the nothing x app which gives you a lot more options like you have a dedicated low latency mode if you're interested to use these earbuds while playing games like pubg i would definitely recommend you to turn them on and you also get an additional functionality where you can just double tap and wait or hold and you can trigger an action by the way these earbuds don't have a single tap action so there's no play or pause option so if you want you can switch it to double tap and hold and that you can do it directly from the app besides that from the app you can also change the equalizer settings turn on ultra bass if you want and you also have find my earphones option which work really well here's a quick preview so guys what do you think about these two products do let us know by commenting below this video hit the like button if you like this video share it with your friends and do subscribe to our channel with that said see you next time bye bye